Good morning. Sunday, June 11th, and it's about 6.30 in the morning. Out here in the garden, it's a whole whopping 48 degrees here in Minnesota. It's been in the 90s. It's been dry. I haven't had rain in almost a month. Uh, just watering every day. I thought I'd show everybody what's going on here. Got the electric fence. Here's my garden from a distant view. Move things around, widen my rows. I rototill, uh, till in between, and then all that's left is weeding the plants. Uh, peppers here. These are my jalapenos and the hot peppers. Then we get into the bell peppers. And I threw a little dill on the end here. Some of my tomato plants. And I probably overdid it this year. We, I decided to switch up a little bit. These are all potatoes. <laughs> I think I have 60 hills of potatoes. Kind of crazy probably, but these are my slicing cucumbers. And more potatoes. Yesterday, all this. These are what I used to call helicopters as a kid. Uh, got real windy here last night, but the storms missed me. Uh, so all of them blew off the trees. Yesterday, I put in a second planting of sweet corn. I got five more rows in here. This is my first planting of sweet corn. And it's just leaning from the wind. That'll straighten out. More tomatoes. And these are all potatoes also here. <laughs> Over here by the flags, there's all my squash. I decided to be smart, I hope, and flag it so I know where to water. And... Here, they're just starting to come up. I got peas for the grandson. He just loves to snack on them. And I'm one that I hate to waste my garden space on peas. I love them, but they just uh, take up so much room for what you get off there. My pickling pickles didn't come up as well. So I put more in there yesterday also. Uh, same thing with the beets. So I had to reseed some yesterday. These are one kind of my green beans. Here's another kind over here. Cauliflower. And the kohlrabi. Starting to get the little bulbs on some of them. And I see I missed a weed there. And then here's the broccoli. My celery. I didn't think that'd make it this year, but it looks really good so far. It did not look good earlier. My leaf lettuce brand blend. Absolutely love that. Radishes, I've been picking some of them and eating them already. And then we go to onions. They're starting to bulb up also. This kind is Patterson. Next row here is also Patterson. They're a yellow onion that uh, stores pretty well. And they get fairly big. Little green onions for bunching onions, whatever you want to call them. These are candy. They're supposed to be bigger, but do not keep as well. But I enjoy these. So I use them up first, usually. New one to me called Blush. It's a combination of red and yellow. And then here's my red. Last year my onions got wiped out by the hail, so I'm not getting my hopes up even though they look fairly good. 
garlic starting to get scapes curled over I'm gonna have to cut them probably this afternoon this one's called German hardy also called German extra hardy German porcelain many names for this one great all-around garlic <coughs> my allergies are kicking my butt this is Romanian red And down here I have one called Music or Muzak, however people want to say it. But gonna have to get out here and cut them. And that is really about it. Oh, I was gonna show a check out the uh, goodness, I forget his name. The old, old Swede's farm, I believe he's called Rich is his name, and Holly is his wife. He's got a neat one on milkweed, but I had some come up years ago. And it's on the edge of my garden where I do my watering station here, so I just let it go. And you wouldn't believe the monarch butterflies. But anyway, have a great day. Thank you.